Um, welcome, I am Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Wreaths, where we make beautiful wreaths and teach you how to make and sell them. I'm also a business coach and mentor to creative entrepreneurs through my Success Circle membership group. And I um, also have a wreath making of the month club where I teach uh, people how to learn the art of wreath making. So um, in this video, I want to show you how to decorate angel wings. Aren't these beautiful? So these are metal. Can you see an up close of them? Metal angel wings. I got them at Hobby Lobby. And I just love, uh, first of all, I'm a huge believer of angels. And I love these angel wings. The reason I love them so much is, number one, you could paint them. So I could paint this, you know, silver or white. Um, you know, they don't have to be this black. You, you know, you feel free to change anything that you want. Just make sure when you get your spray paint, I like to use Krylon brand but when you um, pick out your spray paint just make sure that you um, it's made for metal and read all the you know the directions and stuff I think I'm gonna keep my black um, I don't know I might I might spray paint it later but right now I think I'm going to um, you know leave them black for now this is gonna be for my office the way we're gonna decorate it I've got some ribbon and you know you if you got if you guys have been following me then you know that this is the color in my office it's um, an aqua and I just love this ribbon Isn't that pretty I'm gonna try not to get it close to the light but it's an aqua and it's got polka dot it's trimmed in polka dot this is a linen down the center solid and then it's trimmed in a white polka dot um, on both sides. Isn't that cute? I got this at Carolina Pottery, my home away from home. All right, so the first thing I want to do is pop another cough drop, you guys, because I am still trying to get over this crud that's been going around, and I just know I'm going to have a coughing attack if I don't. Okay, so... The first thing I want to do is create the bow, <clears throat> which is going to go right here in the center. Maybe I'll turn it this way. So it's going to go right here in the center. I need to find the front and the back of this thing. Hold on. Let me see if there's a difference. Yeah, I think this is the front. I can tell that they, you know, have a little, what do you call that, a concave or whatever, or indention so I'm saying I'm going with this is the front okay and the, the ribbon I want to trail so I want to have you know some of it coming down just like that so I want to have a tail all right so given that this is gonna be tricky doing it upside down I'm going to pinch it together just like this and when I when I pinch it, it it creates a pleat and then I'm gonna measure out I usually like to do 12 inches but if I do 12 inches I feel like this is gonna to be too much bow now I don't want to lose any shape of you know the angel wings. I don't want to make my arrangement so big on the top that I can't figure out that that's an angel wings underneath it. So I think what I'm going to do is make this loop 10 inches. And I pleated it in. Let's see if I can find the front. <clears throat> okay, so your loop, your bow would look like this. And then I'm going to do a little twist. And measure out 10 inches pleat and then twist so you should have this okay and now what I want to do is I just want to add more loops um, 
but I also want to have some um, extra ribbon streamers. So I'm going to do a combination of some of my funky bow loops too in it. So I'm going to do, I guess I'm coming up around eight inches, pinching it in. And then I'm going to measure out nine inches. And then twist. Okay, so then your bow should look like this. So you've got three loops, two on one side and then one on the other, and then you've got two streamers on the top. So now I'm going to do the same thing, <coughs> excuse me, but turn the ribbon in the other direction. <coughs> Ten inches. And this is what the bow looks like. <coughs> oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I'm going to secure that with some florist wire. Just run your, just pick up one of the fingers in the back and run it around. Just like that and then twist. <clears throat> I'm not going to attach it just yet. The only thing about this ribbon is it does wrinkle. I guess I could use a steamer on it or something after I get it on. All right, so that I'm going to have the bow coming down here. All right, but first what I'm going to do is, I don't know, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm just going to roll these edges because I'm noticing, do you see how it unravels a little bit right there? So I think what I want to do is just roll these edges under instead of doing the dovetail on the ends because I just think it's going to unravel. So I'm just rolling it a couple of times to give a finished edge. Okay, and then the other reason that I wanted to have the tails on the on the bow um, up here is so that I can hot glue stuff, more stuff inside of it. But you can see that so far that bow is going to look cute on it, don't you think? Let's see if I sit, sit back. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do is start to gather some flowers in my hand. Okay, so the thing that I want to do now is just look at it because I want the bow here and then I want the, um, the flower arrangement, you know, the flowers to come out from under the bow. So let me put that down there right there. And um, I've got these really pretty, I'm using a lot of um, leftovers. Don't you love it when you can find uses for your leftover stuff? This is why, you guys, I don't throw away anything. Like these flowers were left over from my Facebook Live last week. You know, I don't throw away anything. All right, so... I'm just going to place these, stack these on top of each other. I think I need some greenery behind it. <clears throat> Here's one. So let's put that there. And then I've got these isn't that cute? And it's kind of in the same color. So I've got these. Again, I don't want to put too much because I don't want to you know, lo lose the um, fact that they're angel wings. 
underneath it. So I'm going to try to make this airy. And then I just hold it in my hand and position everything the way I think I'm going to want it. I'm picking up pieces here and there. So I like this too. So it's got some of that blue on the ends and in, in that cute. I'll put that back here maybe. Let's see if I've got some other. Here, I'll do this one. If you take the grass and it has a, a spine on it, you can roll your fingers just like this and it will give you, um, you know, it'll fan it out for you. All right, I think that's good. So the bow, remember the bow's going to go here. Let me zip tie this together. <coughs> oh my goodness. I do apologize for my cough. <clears throat> okay, so we have now I've so this is one side, okay? So remember the bow's gonna go here. Now I could probably cut off some of these flowers down at the bottom, but I'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do the other side. So let's see. I want some of the white. All right, so I'm gonna layer some of the white and then one of these blue flowers. <clears throat> and then we've got some of this other stuff that I'm gonna include with it. Decorating with angel wings is very, very popular right now. Um, I just love it because I believe in angels. So, of course, I, I think it's cool. I think just, I just like, you know, to have it symboled in, you know, I have a symbol of it in my office. So, I think this is good. Probably put another piece of greenery right there. And do you see how I just layer it on top of each other until I get the look that I like. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna put one more of these. So this one's gonna probably go back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna zip tie these together. If your um, your stems are real thin and long, sometimes you can um, get both sides together at the same time with and just zip tie it once. But these stems are thick. Okay, so we've got these two together, and now um, I'm going to place them. Let's see, I want to probably 
trim off these white flowers on the very bottom so that I can make room for the bow. Remember, I need to leave room for the bow. And I want them to come out about the same distance on the sides, okay? So let me take the bow off. And now what I want to do is just zip tie all of this together. <clears throat> Now, if you guys like getting tutorials, you know, like this, I have a lot of them on my blog already. And um, you can go to southerncharmries.com forward slash blog and catch some of my other DIY tutorials. You can sign up for my mailing list there. And it will be mailed directly to your inbox. Okay, so now let me think for just a second. I think it'll be better if I secure it. I think I'm just going to wire the bow on right now. And then wire everything on to the... So let's put this here. <clears throat> And um, you could cover this up with some uh, floral leaves if you have any uh, spare floral leaves that you can hot glue on top of it to cover it up. Um, but these are going for my office, so I'm not really worried about it. You could also um, wrap, before you put the bow on, you could have wrapped the whole thing in um, florist tape, too. Okay, so let me wire this on let me get this a little bit closer I think I came out too far on the wire So now I'm going to twist it real good on the back. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over and look at it this way. I'm going to fluff it up. Just like this. Okay, so now what I could do is start to separate some of these um, branches, okay? Remember, they were pretty much stacked on top of each other. But the benefit of using the silks is that everything, you know, can bend pretty much. <clears throat> Let's see. I move it this way maybe you can see all right so I just take the so like this piece right here I'm going to bend it upward and then this one I'll bend it downward and I'll separate these OK, 
Okay, so this is what we've got so far. I'm trying to show you an angle where you can see it. So this is what we've got so far. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is go through and fill in on the bow um, with some of the greenery and some of the flowers. So I'm going to do that now. One thing I wanted to show you, the different, there's some grass. Sometimes you get grass and it's um, plastic, like here's some grass. So this will be your, this will be a little tip. So you see how this grass is plastic and you can usually go like this and it'll stay pretty good. You can use your fingers, but then there's sometimes you get this grass that's straight. See how the difference, so this grass is very straight. Sometimes it works. If you take your, um, let's see if I can find some. If you take your scissors and run it down the grass, here I'll use this, alright so you, you look at the difference before I start. So can you see how this is more like bendy and airy and this is just straight? All right, so th this is the difference. I was gonna show you how to get this airy, wispy look. If you take your scissors, you don't wanna do too much pressure. Just wanna do a little, and you just run it down, just like if you were um, curling, you know, ribbon on a gift pack. You see, if you do it too much, it's gonna be real bendy. You see the difference? Let's see if I can get one of these. But you see how it really just, it makes it um, look more natural. How about that? <laughs> All right, so what I could do now is just hot glue some of these in. Let me just see if I like the placement. I think there might be two. I still think there might be too long for this project. All right, but I did like this, so I'm gonna use this piece. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this and this, and I'm gonna start hot gluing. I've even got this leaf. So these are some leftovers from last week's video. All right, and so I'm just gonna start hot gluing into the bow. So I'll put a little bit of hot glue on the end and then lift up the bow loops and just place it on there and then I'm gonna hold the bow loops down on top of each other so it, it just glues it into the bow fabric now, let me tell you something funny. You remember last week, I told you I was coming down with something. I wasn't feeling well. Um, so, uh, I came in here, was it Monday? To um, do something, and I realized I had left my hot glue gun on from Thursday night, or Thursday, whatever I did that video, through the whole weekend. It was like four days I had left my hot glue gun on. I know, I'm just, just wondering how many of you unplug that glue gun every time or do some of you leave it, you know, plugged in all the time? I'm just curious to know what you guys do. But I thought I about had a flipping heart attack when I realized my glue gun had been on for so long. And now the glue is like orange. It's like burnt glue. Okay, so what I've done is I did, 
a piece of eye, uh, fern right there and one going down one side and one going down the other side. So I did three, almost like a triangle. So this is going to fill the bow out. It'll make it look, um, you know, blend it real well. And you want some of these um, coming down underneath the bow. you these are I mean just don't throw your leftover you know your little um, pieces out because this is what I like to use them for I mean just you would think this simple little piece what would you use it for but I'm showing you right now save it so you can fill in your bows it makes some um, your bows look real you know natural It gives it a designer look, I think. Even um, if you have pieces of, you know, hydrangea leaves will work. So I could add that to the bot, you know, the back if I wanted. Now, one thing I forgot to do, I think, is cut the stems short. So when you zip tie them together as one piece, you could trim the, you know, the, the stem short. You can see how some of it pops off and it gives it dimension. that I don't lose I just want to be careful that I don't want to lose you know the the shape of the angel wings so I don't think I'm gonna put that one there I want it to be real airy and there's one more piece of this blue and I think I'm gonna be done You see why I left the loops? Um, you know, I did the bow with the loop tails because I've got the loop tails now on the top of the um, bow where I can hot glue the pieces on. And then if you curl the tails almost as if they're a more, you know, another loop another bow I mean another loop in the bow <clears throat> I want it to be airy in the back. All right, so. Well, 
Let me um, move the camera up so you guys can see it. This was just a really quick project, wasn't it? It didn't take that much time at all. And it was using scraps. Isn't that cute? So this is the color of my, you know, the accent pieces in my office. And I just think this is going to be such a cute little accent. I'm going to put it between. I've got two windows. Um, I'm going to put them between the two windows. Isn't that really, really cute? I'm just loving it. Loving it. Um, so to do a hanger, I'm going to use the rustic wire that I pretty much make all my hangers with. And I'll show you the back. See how the back is right here? You see how you could have covered the green zip ties up? That if you were gonna sell this online or something, definitely I would have covered those up. <clears throat> Let me figure this out real quick. If you want to use pipe cleaner, probably would be um, just as well as the rustic wire. So I just tie, I just twisted one around there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I want this to be a small hanger. Oh, you guys can't see it. There. So I, ru I wrapped it around this one and then I did a loop and now I'm gonna wrap it around this, this one over here. So now I have a little hook um, that I can hang it with. Um, you could use ribbon if you wanted, or like I said, a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna turn the, make sure that there's wires are not gonna scratch the wall. Uh-oh. Definitely um, rolling the ribbon underneath, you know, curling it on the bottom is the answer because this definitely has a tendency to ravel. So if you get this ribbon, don't do the um, dovetail on the bottom like I usually do. All right, isn't this cute? You guys like it? I'm loving it. <laughs> 